We are going to go into the new building A of the ramp. Come on in, folks. Ladies and gentlemen, the founder and president of Arkimoto, Mark Fronmeyer. All right. So I, uh, I do sometimes have a penchant for forward-looking statements. I'm going to be making some of those forward-looking statements today. So before we get rolling, I want to call your attention to our uh, safe harbor disclaimer regarding forward-looking statements. Uh, this note identifies risk factors that may cause our actual results to differ materially from the content of our forward-looking statements for reasons uh, that we cite in our SEC filings. So, now on to the program. Uh, welcome to the ramp! Uh, we, are, we are deeply honored. Uh, that folks have traveled uh, some from very far away uh, to be here with us today. Uh, some folks from the Netherlands, from, uh, from the East Coast. Um, we've, got, uh, we've, we've got Sandy Monroe and his team out from Detroit. Uh, some of our amazing partners from California and elsewhere to join folks from here in our own hometown of Eugene, as well as all of you joining us live by stream from around the world for Arkimoto's most significant day since its beginning. Uh, there is one true VIP who was unable to make it today. Uh, she is Arkimoto's first investor after myself, one of our very earliest customers, and one of the two people that I actually owe my life to. Uh, and of course, I'm talking about my mom, Lynn. Um, I, uh, I wanted to put her on stage and have her give this speech because she's a phenomenal public speaker, but um, instead I called her, uh, and I, I, this is about a week ago, and I, I asked her um, about, for her advice about what I should say to everyone assembled here today, and she said, make sure to communicate two things. First, she said, you must remind them why. Arkimoto exists to help address the most pressing challenge facing all of life on this pale blue dot we call home. Fires, floods, superstorms, drought, the horror of armed conflict over fossil energy, accelerating species extinction, what was predicted when we started is now on the news every day. That's, that's why we're here. The extreme urgency that impels the rapidly accelerating pace of innovation on full display today, new factory, leading core EV technology developments, product family enhancements, and the mandate to deliver true micromobility, sustainable solutions to the world are driven by this why. But let's get to the fun stuff. Uh, I've got a lot of ground to cover, so much of what I'm gonna talk about today is, is pretty high level. So you can expect uh, a slew of follow-on announcements in the coming weeks, driving deeper on uh, many of these points. Welcome again to the ramp. Um, a year and a half ago, uh, we laid out the wildly big, hairy, audacious goal of opening a second factory by the end of this year that once at full capacity would be capable of producing 50,000 vehicles per year and further provide a replicable template for global expansion. At that time, we had neither a site capable of mass production nor a platform design that we could economically scale. Today, we are inside that facility. 
Today, we will show in rendered form the next generation platform we will produce at scale here. And today, for the very first time, and you can see them lined up over there, production Arkimoto's are being assembled here. We took possession of this site last quarter. And for any of you who came to our Fall Fub rally, we actually drove around inside it. The transformation has been simply remarkable. Uh, the team has been working with extraordinary hustle. And this is not just the Arkimoto team, but our, our partners at Chambers uh, Construction who've been uh, just working through holidays, working to get this space dialed into uh, Arkimoto's requirements. Uh, the, the booting up of the plastics line in building D, uh, the machine shop in building C, both of which are available for tours after this program, uh, and then the transition of the assembly line from the amp into where we are here in building A. This is all just a part of phase one of a two-step push to true scale. So the, the initial impact of the transition to the ramp will be a significant increase in production capacity for what we're building right now, the fun utility vehicle and the full family of products that share its platform. Uh, Arkimoto more than doubled year-over-year -year production in 2020 and more than tripled year-over-year -year production in 2021. Even considering downtime uh, with the move over to the ramp, we expect to triple production once again this year. And then we start taking the big steps up. Uh, so before I dive fully into that future, I want to just take a few minutes to talk about the now and the incredible progress the team has made further developing the FUV product family in the market for Arkimoto. On the consumer front, the FUV and the Roadster continue to receive rave reviews from demo writers and journalists alike, adding confirmation to our belief that Arkimoto delivers the most joyful ride experience of any vehicle on the road and oversized utility on a lightweight platform. As we begin to exit the pandemic mode that has gripped the world for the last two centuries, I mean two years, uh, Arkimoto is hitting full throttle on our demo rental program in order to maximize the number of people who get to enjoy our unique ride and drive exposure for the Arkimoto brand in the most capital efficient manner we can with the long-term goal of turning that first time new user experience of a vehicle into a profit center for the company instead of what is typically a big cost sink for a typical vehicle manufacturer. Late last year, we began earmarking a significant portion of our limited production output into this program, and we plan to accelerate that this year. Our beachheads, Hawaii, California, Florida, combined to form both a massive market for our existing products relative to our scale of production and serve as thriving hubs of destination travel. We've announced several key rental partnerships already this year, and stay tuned, we have a lot more coming. For our commercial and government fleet offerings, we've likewise made significant progress. Uh, early trials of the Deliberator, the Rapid Responder, the Flatbed have provided invaluable feedback uh, as we aim for volume production of these products. And further, the move to the ramp will finally give us the space to actually produce those product variants on the same assembly line. What we do right now, we actually have uh, a separate facility where they go from the amp to R&D, uh, they get stall built right now. The, this move is going to be a big win in terms of being able to build all of the different pieces of our product family in a much more efficient way. At the same time, we're working with ecosystem players to flesh out the full suite of offerings needed to really deliver commercial vehicles. And that includes uh, broad service, leasing options, so that fleets really have a turnkey solution uh, for the market. And so likewise expect uh, much more on that front soon. And when it comes to vehicle customization, I wanna highlight one development the team came up with entirely on their own. Nobody, and I mean nobody 
has been asking for this at all. Turns out the journey to incorporate doors onto an FUV, it takes a little bit of effort. We were not willing to go into production with a door that was just half-baked. We needed to test it, refine it, tool it up. We are here and we do have them in production. Uh, they're flowing into the factory and we're at the point now where we can start lining up appointments for the people that have been waiting out in the field and we can take orders for new vehicles that need doors and we have some pretty cool vinyl accents, paint concepts that are available as options. The doors are finally here. I am super stoked about that and so is the whole company and all of our followers out there. So, uh, the doors and the recently launched golf bag carrier are just the beginning of Arkimoto's accessories program. Um, we have a number of additional prototype accessories in development, uh, from the Barkamoto sidecar uh, to the splash guards and storage kits, many on display here today that will allow both consumer and fleet customers to really dial in their Arkimoto's to meet their particular needs. Uh, one, one final recent development that I'd like to highlight in particular, this is actually a, a program that began a little more than a year ago when devastating wildfires threatened our community and watershed. Uh, our friends Zach and Jesse from the Now You Know YouTube channel turned us on to a really clever approach for firefighting uh, using substantially less fluid than is typical used in conventional firefighting ways. So the question was, what if a, a very lightweight, nimble, rapid responder could be outfitted in order to be first on the scene of a blaze with enough fire suppression power to handle everything from car fires to small house fires? That initial discussion has evolved into Arkimoto's Smoke Jumper Initiative and a multi-company team building a multi-platform comprehensive approach to fight fires. This video was shot just this last week uh, of an Arkimoto rapid response vehicle and a novel pump and nozzle system that uh, used approximately three gallons of liquid to put out that blaze. We estimate that an Arkimoto equipped with this technology portfolio can carry the equivalent firefighting capacity of 300 gallons of water used in the traditional way. We plan to pilot rapid responders thus equipped this summer. Uh, so now looking on to some of the more forward-looking stuff, the torque vectoring system that we showcased with our friends at Stoffel Systems last summer that provides both a much lighter steering, steering feel and snap your torque off the line. Uh, when we showed it over the summer, it involved modifications to the vehicle hardware, uh, some wire harnesses, a lot of extra stuff. Um, that system is now up and running on stock Arkimoto hardware. Uh, and you can see that here and try it in action today. Uh, we expect that that system will be feature complete later this spring, and then there will be a testing and validation period uh, aiming for rolling out to our customers this fall. And concurrent with the release of torque vectoring, we expect to release the first version of the Arkimoto app, allowing FUV owners to power on their vehicles, perform diagnostics, connect directly with service, um, and that will also offer uh, renters in our demo rental program to be able to just much more seamlessly rent Arkimoto vehicles. On the battery front, uh, we are now in the testing and verification process for modules built with the next generation cell from Ferris, our battery supplier. 
And we expect that this new cell will offer an incremental increase in vehicle range for all of the products in the product family. Uh, and we are presently on track to move into production with this upgrade at the end of the quarter. Uh, as we reiterate regularly, the vast majority of our engineering effort is to ramp up to mass production. And today I'm gonna to give you just a little sneak peek at what's next. So the foundation of every Arkimoto we build is the platform. And the key to scaling production, first and foremost, is to make the platform more scalable. So here is a very first look in computer rendered form of that new platform. And so you can see just the significant reduction in uh, complexity. It's basically, um, you know, and this, this is major work done by Arkimoto, our partners at Monroe and Associates, Stoffel Systems, Electric Goddess, and many others. So this is gonna feature both uh, mechanical refinements uh, of, the, of the drive system, and then significant electrical system optimizations to drive down cost and improve manufacturability. We plan to build the first prototypes of the new platform this spring, validation testing starting in Q3, and targeting production in quarter one of next year. So this 1.x program is what will really truly start to unlock the big steps up in scale. So the, the 3x uh, jump up that we plan for this year uh, is it's a big jump, actually. That, that alone, a lot of work. Uh, but what we're planning for next year is a 7x increase beyond that, um, and then ultimately on the path to getting to maximum unit output capacity for this factory in 2025. I should add that while there will be minor benefits to the ride, uh, you know, the, the big advantage is going to accrue to cost and scale of manufacture. And coincident with the launch of 1.x, uh, we intend to bring the rapid responder, deliberator, and flatbed into series production on the new foundation. So the platform is Arkimoto's fundamental product. It's the, the many shots on goal approach that separates us from all of the other EV endeavors that we've seen to date. And ultimately we see the platform itself as a key standalone part of the portfolio. As we look forward, we aim to make the platform accessible to a wide array of users, other vehicle makers, schools and research institutions, and EV enthusiasts. And today, we're giving that effort a name. We call it the Arkimoto Platform Initiative, a true hardware API for sustainable transportation. Uh, last summer, our friends at Faction demonstrated a proof of concept driverless Arkimoto. Today, we are excited to announce that Faction is officially our first API partner. Their driverless uh, delivery vehicle prototype is on display publicly for the very first time here today. Uh, and after the presentation, I encourage you to check out the, it in motion uh, in the parking lot right on the other side of this wall. All right. Who's pumped? Go oh, oh wait, go oh wait, there's more, there's more. Uh, Everything I just talked about is phase one of the ramp expansion plan. Phase two of factory two is the big step beyond that. And that's gonna include a new logistics hub on the site, the reconditioning of building B, which is sort of the big breezeway that you all walked in, uh, the lay-in of the automated assembly line we're designing with our partners at Monroe and team, as well as an extensive tool up of key parts, of the chassis and body that we believe will allow us to achieve, to achieve maximum unit throughput on this site in 2025 and launch the 1.x endgame robo valet mass market consumer vehicle we started teasing last year. For a team uh, that has been running for 14 plus years, the finish line is almost in sight. 
So now let's take a step back and look at the big, big picture. As a world, we are way behind the eight ball when it comes to emissions and the climate that we all depend on. The conventional wisdom in the EV world is that EV production is constrained by raw materials. Uh, precious metals and rare earths that go into uh, the electric vehicle drivetrain and battery. But let's, let's unpack that for, for just a little bit. Uh, it became public last week that General Motors' new electric Hummer clocks in at a whopping 9,063 pounds. Think about that for just a second. That's a vehicle that when driven alone is more than 40 times the weight of its occupant. That is enough material to build two Model Ys. If we hit our targets, it's enough material to build eight fun utility vehicles with the same amount of material. So if we really want to accelerate the shift to sustainable mobility, and trust me, we do, switching to electric is only one piece of this puzzle. Right-sizing the footprint of our rides is equally critical. Now, uh, an 8x improvement over General Motors' flagship is a good start. Uh, but we think we can continue to push the envelope well beyond that. The FUV platform architecture yields stability by artful ballasting, positioning of the heavy elements, uh, to provide a really compelling and comfortable ride that is, is adaptable to a, a wide range of daily uses. For this reason, there's a limit to how light we can make it. In order to make the next order of magnitude of weight reduction, cost reduction, efficiency improvement on a three-wheeler, it needs to lean. So this is something I've known since starting Arkimoto, but at the time, Every tilting three-wheeled vehicle architecture I saw was either overly complex, expensive, or had strange corner cases that made it unstable. But as we built this venture throughout the last decade, I came to know another entrepreneur here in the Pacific Northwest uh, who made it his mission in life to crack the tilting three-wheeled vehicle code. As we plied our respective three-wheeled wares up and down the West Coast. Uh, we became friends and chatted repeatedly about the potential for collaboration, uh, blending the electric vehicle experience of Arkimoto with the road-tested, patented leaning technology Bob developed at Tilting Motorworks. When we saw the e-bike market start to go to the moon during the pandemic, the locus of collaboration became very clear. So in the fall of 2020, we started a Skunk Works project with Tilting Motorworks to explore an e-bike class product using this revolutionary technology. In Q1 of last year, we acquired Tilting Motorworks to accelerate that program, and today we are showing the fruits of this effort publicly for the very first time. So that version, that's the, that was the, the version two prototype uh, of the main lean machine. 
Looks pretty cool. But l let's see the real show pony. Yeah. Welcome, Bob Mile. <laughs> Dude, great work. Uh, so, I, I, I think it's beautiful. I love it. Uh, and uh, I want to... I want to give a shout out um, to our friends at Mercury Metals, just our, our neighbors um, who helped us. They did, they did uh, d designed a, a kinetic sculpture in the frame um, like no other, and then burned the midnight electrons to get it built. Uh, Larry, Nick, Joel, Ben, you guys are legends. Um, this, this, actually, this vehicle is a uh, um, the collaborative effort of, of a, a ton of people. I'd, I'd love to thank them all, but our um, the, the team working on this has just been cranking forward on a, a project that we all really hold truly deep to us. Um, it's an e-bike class vehicle unlike any other on the planet. Riding it feels like an extension of your body. Um, Leo, do we have Leo here anyway? Leo is the master bike builder uh, featured in that video. I was talking to the other night. He, he described it as uh, super you riding the perfect world. <laughs> and to think people accuse me of hypey taglines. <laughs> anyway, uh, the MLM is packed to the gills with new electric vehicle technology. We've reinvented the wheel. So placing an Arkimoto designed hub motor uh, wheel assembly on each of the three corners. Uh, we teamed up with some brilliant Tesla alums to develop a new pedal generator, right? That's right, there's, there's no chain, there's no belt, there's no grease. Uh, the generator is your throttle. So super precise response to torque, uh, as well as the ability to charge it up while it is parked. So, I mean, you know, Think for just a second how absurd it is to have a stationary exercise bike that you plug into the wall, right? In some places, you're, you're burning coal to burn fat. Um, not with this Pelotrike. So, going back to the bar graph, one Hummer, two Teslas, eight Fubs, the same amount of material, we can build 100 mean lean machines. This is a point I really want to hammer home. For transportation, micromobility is sustainability. The concept prototype that you see here is still in development. So we're aiming for a product launch proper at the end of the year. But if you want to be first in line, you can pre-order starting today at arcmoto.com slash MLM. Uh, in the coming months, we're going to have a lot more to say about this product, including pricing, accessories for protection from the elements, uh, storage options for delivery, um, and EV features that have never before been seen on vehicles in this class. So as we bring the MLM to market, we think it is going to be a perfect fit for our demo rental experience model, offering another unique, joyful ride through our destination channel. So TechBit, at, at the heart of the MLM design, uh, is a powertrain program we call Micro Future Drive. This combination of next generation lightweight vehicle electronics and a new battery pack architecture. So together with our new wheel, these technologies form Arkimoto's Platform 2, and the MLM is just the start. As with the MLM, we see entirely new takes on the classes of the scooter and tuk-tuk, uh, ultralight delivery bots, and vehicles for folks who use wheelchairs and mobility scooters, all sharing the same fundamental EV technologies and components, and all utilizing the same fundamental software API as our platform 1.x products. And regarding that new battery architecture, for more than a year, Arkimoto and the brilliant team at Electric Goddess have been developing a new packing system 
for cylindrical format battery cells. This battery architecture forms the foundation of microfuture drive, but it has much wider implication over time, including supply chain redundancy as we scale and range optionality for all of our products. We are aiming for the highest volumetric energy density, lowest cost, thermally safest, most scalable packaging architecture for cylindrical battery cells. The battery packing system that works for everything from micro EVs to FUVs to very large vehicles. We've teamed up with DW Fritz, a world leader in advanced manufacturing automation, to design with us the automated production system for this next generation battery, and we've entered into an agreement with them to explore commercializing this combination in order to provide turnkey manufacturing solutions for other companies across the industry in need of next generation battery packs for their products. Home stretch. All right. So home stretch. Just two more things. Arkimoto, our quest for a truly sustainable transportation system, is an ultra marathon being run by a 250 strong team who wear the brand and a whole host of critical partners and suppliers united in our common cause a crew of world-class builders, designers, engineers, and visionaries who have pledged our waking lives to this achievement. I want to, I want to just take a moment to thank every single one of you for all of the work that you have put in to get us to where we are today uh, and uh, for your commitment to finishing the run. And I should add that that run is powered by our stakeholders, our investors, our customers, our cheerleaders. You guys are, are like the, the Gatorade that fuels that run. You are the true Arcanauts, without whom none of this would be possible. For joining us on this quest, you, you have my deepest gratitude. Okay, last bit. Um, the, the reason my mom couldn't be here today is because she is away greeting her first grandchild. Um, the newest member of the Arkimoto family. So, so mom's first missive to all assembled was to make sure that we are doing absolutely everything we can to leave the best possible world for uh, my first <laughs> niece, Anahata, and for all of our future generations. But the second thing she wanted to make sure that I communicated today, I wasn't going to forget, there were two things, uh, was that sustainable transport doesn't have to be a sacrifice. We're building Disneyland on the road to save the planet and get groceries. The move away from the idea of the car is more fun, more nimble, less hassle, and more livable for us all. We are Arkimoto. We make the best electric three-wheelers in the world for a purpose. And now it's time to ramp it up.